There might be a few tired folk in Korea this morning after people got swept up in the Christmas spirit on Sunday. However, Christmas Day is more than just exchanging gifts and having a nice meal with family and friends. And our Kim Hyesung takes a look at how the holiday was observed this year in Korea and in some other parts of our world. Celebrations, laughter, and joyous hymns. Christmas Day Mass at Seoul's iconic Myeongdong Cathedral was attended by around 2,000 people, including many families with children, who reflected on the meaning of the holiday as Archbishop Andrew Yom Soo Jung delivered a message of love and hope. And for the first time in three years, Christians in the ancient Iraqi town of Bartele celebrated the birth of Jesus. The town near Mosul was home to thousands of Assyrian Christians, most of whom fled in 2014 when Islamist militants took over. But Iraqi forces recaptured the town in October this year, and now many of Bartele's residents are back home. I'm so happy to be back in my area and to my church. No matter what those rats Islamic State do, they'll never keep us from our homes. Christmas lights were also lit in Berlin, where 12 people were killed last Monday in a truck attack for which the so-called Islamic State claimed responsibility. The Christmas market where the attack occurred was covered with flowers and candles, but not without some anxiety. Security remains high and memories of the attack are still fresh. In the West Bank town of Bethlehem, where the Bible says Jesus was born, thousands of tourists from around the world, along with pilgrims and locals, celebrated Christmas Eve. The acting Latin patriarch of Jerusalem led the Mass in the Church of the Nativity and welcomed pilgrims from various countries in their native languages. And in Vatican City, the head of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Francis, urged Christians to celebrate the birth of Jesus by thinking about the plight of today's children, lamenting how some must flee bombs or make dangerous sea journeys in migrant boats. At the solemn but joyous Christmas Eve service, Pope Francis said Christmas had been taken hostage by materialism, saying the season needs more humility. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.